Yasas and welcome to another great recipe idea. Today I'm making something that's well known all over the world, spanakopita, in simple terms, spinach pie. However, I'm taking it to a new level and you're gonna love this idea. I'm twisting it in the shape of a snake and I'm baking it in something you probably would have never thought of, a pizza stone. First thing we need to do is set our pizza stone on the bottom rack of a cooled oven at 425 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Remember, it's important to preheat your stone correctly because this guarantees a good bake for the spanakopitas. Next step, in a large skillet, we're gonna add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and then our spinach. When my director saw this big bowl of spinach, he freaked out. But don't worry, it's the correct portion for this recipe. You need one pound of fresh spinach. We're gonna cook this down in small portions and help it out with a little bit of salt. I wanna share a cool tip with you. To remove the excess oil and water that's in the spinach, I'm gonna use a salad spinner and give it a good spin. As you can see, all the excess liquids are right in the bowl. We're gonna lay our spinach on the cutting board and give it a rough chop. One good thing about this recipe, I've given you another exciting way on how to use a pizza stone and a salad spinner. I'm gonna leave this on the chopping board and in a large skillet, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna turn it on a medium heat and add one chopped onion. We wanna saute the onions until they get soft and glossy. Let's add two spring onions that I've already chopped, three chopped garlic cloves, and a half a cup of leeks. We're gonna let this cook for another two to three minutes. Let's add our spinach. And our fresh herbs. I have one quarter of a cup of chopped parsley, one quarter of a cup of mint, and one quarter of a cup of chopped dill. Pinch of salt and a little pepper. This is now ready so we can turn off the heat and transfer it to a mixing bowl. We want to set this to the side so it completely cools before we continue making our mixture. The spinach mixture has completely cooled now, so we can go ahead and add our remaining ingredients. One cup of crumbled feta cheese, one quarter of a cup of grated cassetti cheese, and one quarter cup of grated graviera, a quarter cup of toasted pine nuts, a little bit of nutmeg, and two eggs that I've already lightly beaten. Let's give them a good mix. Since we have a big crew here on the set, I stretched out this recipe to 15 servings. It's time to get our filo dough out of the refrigerator. We're ready to start rolling them up. If you see that your phyllo sheets have cracked a little bit, just like this one, don't worry, just put it towards your end because we're gonna roll it up and it'll never show. On a normal basis, what you need to do is you just need to take a few phyllo sheets at a time, wrap the remainder in a wet cloth so they don't dry out. I've already clarified a cup of unsalted butter. We're gonna butter the entire phyllo sheet. At the end closest to you, we're gonna flip it over about a half an inch or so and add our mix. We want to spread this lengthwise. And then flatten it out with your spoon. Now I have a little too much here, so let's take a little out. The reason why I removed some of it, because we don't want to overdo it with the mixture, because when we're gonna swirl it around like a snake, we don't want the phyllo cracking. 
Another thing, we don't want to add mixture at the ends. We want to leave a gap so we can fold it in. Add a little bit more butter here on the sides and start rolling. Add a little bit more butter. All right, the snake part. Seal it in a little bit with your fingers just like this and start twisting it. Here at the end, squeeze it in. Add a little butter and set it on the side. Now, it's time to grab our pizza stone from the oven. With your pastry brush, we're gonna brush butter all over the spanakopita and then lay it on our pizza stone. When you set it on the pizza stone, be a little sneaky. Set the end that's open, a little bit touching the one next to it, so it's sealing it in from opening. As you can see, this one has cracked and opened a little bit. Don't worry about it, just set it on the pizza stone, touching one of the other ones, and it'll be just fine. Last but not least, we're gonna sprinkle some thyme all over the top. We're gonna pop it into a 375 degree oven for about 35 minutes or so, or until they get golden brown, both on the top and on the bottom. Let's remove the stone from the oven and set it on its chrome rack. Serve it hot at the table and impress everybody. Here's a fresh new way on how to take this Greek classic and literally add a twist, both in its shape and in the way you bake it. Hope you like this one, guys. See you next time on GreekRecipes.tv. Yes, us.